Hey guys, I'm Emily Walden. Welcome to my kitchen here in Brock, Texas. Today I'm going to be preparing one of my favorite desserts, a vanilla ricotta tart. So let's get started. First we have to make the tart shell, so we're going to need a food processor to mix all this stuff together. And we're going to start out with one cup of flour, about a fourth a cup of sugar, and just a pinch of salt. Then you're going to uh, just combine them for a few seconds. And when all that's blended up, you're going to take one stick of cold butter and add it in. And then you're going to mix it again until it, it should form um, little clumps. And right after that, you're going to add one egg yolk and about a tablespoon of water and just a little bit of vanilla. And then you're going to pulse again in really short bursts until it forms the dough. All right, now your dough should look like dough. That would be good. So now we're going to take it out and put it in the tart pan. And when you get it all put in here, you need to pop it in the fridge for about 30 minutes. Oh, would you look at that? A picture of the first cake I ever baked. That's weird. No, but really, baking? It was one of my favorite things to do when I was little. Um, on the weekends, I would ask my mom just to like give me a ton of flour and water and I'd make my own dough. It was a weird thing to do as a child, I guess. I don't know. I enjoyed it. Get this cleaned off. And now we can start on the filling. So, what we're going to need is about a cup and a half of ricotta cheese, um, four ounces of cream cheese, and two-thirds cup of sugar. Mix this up. Make sure um, your sugar is really well blended. You don't want lumps in it. Okay. When you get all that mixed up, you're going to add three egg whites. And my favorite part of the recipe is I get to use a uh, real vanilla bean for the seeds inside. So that's pretty exciting. You smell it. It smells like a lot of vanilla. The thing with vanilla beans is they're pretty pricey, so you don't want to waste any of the seeds inside. So you gotta be super careful when you cut them. Just cut right down the middle here. And then just open it up. You can see all those tiny little black things inside, those are actually the seeds, and that's the stuff we're looking for. That is the good stuff. So, now you're gonna take a spoon, just open it up as much as you can, and scrape the seeds out. I get them all, and then gather them up. Just dump them in right here. Then we're going to mix it all up one more time. And don't forget to add a pinch of salt. Mix it up. It looks great. Awesome. Okay, let's go check on the tart. holes in the crust and now I'm going to pop it in the oven for about 20 minutes at 375. All right while that's baking I'm going to make some whipped cream to go on top of it. Yay! Okay this looks perfect actually so all you have to do is put in the filling and pop it in the oven for 20 more minutes and we'll be done. So now that the tart is cooled down for about 15 or 20 minutes 
it's ready to be served. And the funny thing about this is a lot of people freak out when they're trying to get the tart out of the pan. They don't want to break the, um, the crust or anything. But there's a really cool thing that people don't know. If you take a little cup like this and you place the tart on top, ladies and gentlemen. I think that's pretty much the coolest thing I've ever seen in my life. Being serious. Alright, so now we get to cut it. So this is the best part of the entire process. You get to put whatever toppings you want on the dessert. So I'm going to use some of the whipped cream I prepared earlier. Just put a little dollop right here. And I'm gonna take some blackberries, place them on top. That looks fantastic. All right, I'm gonna eat this now. Thank you guys for hanging out. It's been wonderful. You have a great day. They're so good.